That little rusty motherfucker. Ooh. Yep. Okay. What's up, y'all? Shit, I know we ain't been around here, man, but shit, motherfuckers got license and got shit to do, though. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm trying to catch up. Shit, and light hell and hell. You know, shit, the car shit's still going on, though, baby. We got Dr. J in this motherfucker. Still, still back at it. I don't want to say back at it. Still at it. Yeah, Jordan's still at it, so don't, don't think motherfucker ain't doing nothing, shit. I'm just, I just got something else going on. Jordan still fucking with the car. Still Dr. J, baby. Y'all know what's going on, shit. I just been, uh, shit. I've been doing box trucking, y'all. That's what the fuck I've been doing while I ain't been videoing. So shit, for you, for you people that be in my inbox talking crazy, shit, I gotta get my money, man. Shit, fuck that shit y'all talking about. But, hey. but I'm glad that you missed me, baby. Glad that I you missed us, baby. Shout, shout out to our number one diehard fan. Oh, yeah, this Randy is. Gaines. Randy Gaines. You, you boot <laughs> mouth. This is a video for you. Yeah, you boot mouth Negro. Because <laughs> you definitely be in my inbox talking bad to me. I don't even say nothing to you. I just be like, this nigga here on a video. Randy Gaines says, I know his people had ass seen my messages. He definitely be hitting me. I don't never say nothing back to him. <laughs> By the time I look at him, I'll be tired, Randy. Shit, I'll be working. Working all damn day, shit. Deliver packages. But shit, I'm finna start making sure, shit, I can at least get y'all a video or two every week. But then again, Jordan be recording, so I'ma start getting them videos from Jordan and just uploading them for y'all, cause I know y'all wanna see some. You know what I'm saying? But we out here with Poncho Santo, Engine Bay, uh, Sandblasted. Y'all know that's not primer, baby. That's not primer. That's my fucking sand blast. So what's going on right now? What's going on right now, George? What we doing is uh all the sand blast material. Uh, it's real gritty and fine or whatever. So we're blowing all that out, and then we're gonna tape this up, and then we're gonna paint this shit tonight. We ain't taping it up. We just go paint it. All right, fuck it. We just gonna paint. Fuck it, it after it get overspray on the body. Shit. So I was gonna leave a patina, but I'm gonna have to uh, put some paint <laughs> on it because. Cause y'all ain't gonna act right if I leave a patina. So I'm gonna have to paint it. So if we get some overspray on it, it'll be all right. Yep. So right now, really, I ain't gonna say it's not really, but right now I'm not taking on any more work until I get what's here finished. Um, I'm not a deposit king or none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to keep taking cars and taking money and not producing. I'm doing it the right way. So yeah. once this, just clear it up, which I'm damn near there. You know what I'm saying? I'll be looking to take on some more work. Uh, maybe like March or something March like that. March or April. But yeah. these cars for the gift finish. These last couple cars here gotta go. Cause some of y'all, some of y'all crying, some of y'all come up missing. Some of y'all, you know, shit. But hey, motherfuckers should get y'all shit together and get y'all shit back. Yeah, for the most yeah. part, all y'all should have y'all car for the summer. Y'all have to just figure it figure out where you go from there yeah like the main hold up be like like if you come for a swap and you know this shit's fucked up with the car uh like let me know ahead of time majority of the time i can figure it out before i even take the job but it just be like don't uh, let me get it i had to find it yeah just let me know what's all the way going on in the complete uh everything with the car that you want to do because like for me the time frames i give out to try to get shit done uh, I'll be looking at that time frame to get what I quoted done and you know then it turns into I get the swap done and then the brakes fucked up on the car 
do I got to turn around and figure out you some type of brake system or whatever, whatever it takes to get you out the shop and get you on the road, you know? Uh, but if you know those things are fucked up with the car, you know, your, your wiring fucked up, your turn signals ain't working. Say or your, that shit. Your alarm tweaking or uh, whatever issue uh, that, that's already going on with it before the swap, let me know beforehand. Because I, I don't like, I'm done with my job. Now and I got to figure out some shit out, some unknown. Yeah, I got to figure out the rest of that because you, you you cutting into the next person's time slot to get their shit done, you know? And then, like, as far, like add-ons, I don't have a problem with the add-ons. But once I'm done what I got to do, take the car and go do something else with it and come back for the add-on. Uh, that way, I can get the next person. Yeah, because the average out. person come, they go bring the car, and then they go sneak up on you with, oh, yeah, I need, uh, oh, yeah, I need uh, this too, uh, yeah, uh. No. A lot of that be going on. Here, we need to blow that top off. Yeah, we get the top off. But just a quick overview. We got this cutlass right here. This colors to swap somewhere else, whatever. That motherfucker fake decent too, y'all. That was clean as fuck. Straight up. So then the, um, I got to fix the wiring on this and do some shit and get it running. You know, I know there's going to be some other parts involved with this, but this is a job. You he got to hit it with the re rock It's got to get done. Then uh, the Malibu here. The Malibu for the get the hell up out of here too. Uh, it just needs some buttoning up, whatever, whatever. But this is a job, you know. Uh, the Skylark. That's a uh, motor and transit, whatever. I gotta finish them up. That's a whole nother job. And then everything else be, be, beyond that point is either my or Tommy shit. Uh, this Malibu here, this guy right here, my boy Antonio, he's been real patient with me. You know, his car been here for a minute. His motor and transit, and his shit, and uh, his car gotta get buttoned up, you know? Um, that Tahoe, that's like a, a fender bender I'm doing for a friend. Uh, then y'all come on in here. Let's show you what, what we got doing. Poncho looks sick out here, don't it, man? <laughs> that motherfucker got cold. Got the Rona. Y'all forgot about that box Chevy, man. So that box Chevy got the primer on this bitch right now. Box Chevy sitting in primer. I was doing a few things to it. Um, I'm gonna walk on this other side. So I can put it back together, paint it, whatever, whatever. Um, Got that primer on that thing. As soon as I get this painted up and whatnot, it's going straight to Sound Factory for interior and music and all that stuff. Uh, figure out a rim later. But even like this is my own personal stuff, and it's like shit. I know the process, so it takes time to get there. But I'm not worried about it. I don't have the car. I had the car like two or three years before I even did anything with it. I swear, you've been having this car. Damn, you've been having this car for a long ass time. Yeah. I just never, I had big draws in motion. Then the white car had that emotion. And then with Low this, key, I think you've been having this car like four years. You know? Because I've been having Ratchet Datchy what, about four years. This be like the same time, some shit. You know? But I mean, to get it, I want to have it. I'm not going to act and sit here like I want, want it. Meet them showroom clean. I'm finna make a super clean driver quality type of car. And you can't and you can't really rush. Yeah. Like That's why I ain't way. rushing on Pancho Sancho. Everybody's be like, oh, work on Pancho Sancho, man. Shit, Pancho Sancho gotta get that bag in there, man. Shit. Nope. Shit, I gotta make sure my pocket set up right for that thing. You can't can't shit bullshit with that joint. Even the big caddy, big caddy dimmer there. Um this a budget bill. Um big caddy dimmer there. I say about a week on this, I'll be done with it. I've just been bullshitting myself. You know, holidays and New Year's just passed, whatever, whatever. But I still make time for everybody's stuff. Um, then we got this uh, the C10. C10 been making good progress. Clean, cleanest engine bay ever, y'all. Yeah. I'm some of this stuff. Engine bay super clean. Got a bunch of uh, a nice, nice group of parts on here. But everything like is a, a calculated move on where to place things and this and that. I'm still in the process of uh, wiring the engine, so I got the wire harness just laid on top. Um, Cause I like to wire tuck and make it look like nothing's there. Um, waiting on a few more things with it. Like even this got a mock up. I'm thinking I might come up like up to here and then swoop it back down and make it look crazy. Do something or even like come this way or something, put like a bend, come over and down. Some type of way we're gonna make it happen. 
Um, if you open the door, I just did the uh, sort of digital, I'm going to make it in town, so I you know, took, the, took the time out to put the Dakota in there. Uh, I've got a few more things to do. Flip the key forward. Power. Damn, I done dropped the phone, y'all. Y'all see that Dakota in that bitch? Shit, I need something like that for old Pancho Sancho, man. Dude, is them separate? Installed. Is them separate or just one whole thing? Yeah, it wasn't that bad to do it. Uh, like, for me to do it, for me to do it, uh, Dakota install, as long as everything right, I'll do it for 600 bucks install. Um, granted, you're wiring together. Um, this truck has some fucked up wiring behind the dash, and I straightened it out or whatever. Yeah, most of them. Especially, they had them alarms in it. Yeah. Then, 9 out of 10, they probably got three alarms in it. Where they done put an alarm, that one went um, out, and they layered a on one top, on the top of it. Yep. And whatnot. Um, but yeah, man, shit. Getting it done, getting them together. So my main focus is uh, getting this one squared off and finished. That thing looks good, Cadillac don't it? Squared yeah. off and finished. Uh, uh, my boy uh, uh, Albert, which is uh, Deville 28s on uh, IG. The Green Chevelle, y'all. Green yo. Chevelle, Turbo Chevelle. Uh, he just grabbed the shop. Uh, got a lift over there, so. Uh, he been letting me use the lift to do other shit, which I just started uh, a frame notch on the cutlass. Then they're done with it, uh, so that'll be on the ground here soon. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna probably put some of that video in. You got video of it? I got yeah, I got a bunch of clips. I've been doing a bunch of reels on IG. Check me out on the IG Sideways Productions underscore sixty seven. Uh, you and, can see some stuff there. And some of them reels, I'm gonna try to load them on the video and put them up for y'all. Yeah, we we'll do that like that. But yeah, I mean, shit, we got a full house. The, uh, once we get this uh, ratchy dancy damn there done, we just got to do a little bit on the interior and some bells and whistles on the inside, and that's running driving. Uh, but as soon as that get done, shit, we might be able to uh, get to a bigger shop and make that happen to service more people, you know? Because, uh, like, real, really, it's like, try to do, like, two cars at a time, maybe three, you know? Uh, bouncing from the cars and doing whatever, but um, yeah, still, still in motion, still making shit happen. So I guess that's all that really matter. Um, I would like to service everybody, but I just physically can't, you know. Man, this shit ain't for everybody. Yeah. Straight up. But yeah. And I might Check put a panoramic in Ratchy Dashy. I don't know, y'all. Think yeah. about it. I was looking for a big group for this one, but I don't know. I'm torn between doing a uh, traditional big regular sunroof, like a 40, 40 inch or 44 inch moonroof, or go, go full fledged uh, panoramic or something. Um, I've been looking at the G6 roof, cause that, that thing, that's the one that you can open all the way up in the inside. Dumb levels. But I don't forget the G6 roof because you got to turn it slow. Whenever you turn the switch on the G6 roof fast, you burn it out. That's why you be seeing a lot of people with their roof open, cause they twisting it too fast. You got to turn it to one, two, three, then four. Other than that, you'll mess it up. Yeah. But yeah, who knows? I might just do a traditional roof. Um, or two piece panel. Oh, yeah, let me show you these logos real quick. I'm gonna grab them real quick for the Chevy. Shit box. Shit box. Well, what y'all know about the shit box box here? Either there or here. On the fender. Fender both sides. Or maybe just one on the trunk. 
where the Capri Sun is supposed to go. Maybe there's one right here to try to do it right. Yeah. Like, you got to put one right there, like it's a Capri Sun. Yeah. Everywhere else is uh, questionable. Something. But it got to go right there. Something not too over the top. Simple clean. Uh, yeah. See how, uh, see how it go. That's the, uh, that's the direction I'm going in with this. It's going to have me a clean shit box. Yeah, yeah, man. Shit, y'all, I'm gonna cut you back on. My arm getting tired <laughs> whenever we push, move these cars. Jordan could have put that oil on there. If you're not a pin, you can pull the trigger back a little bit and use the air to blow. Just, you know, get some of that dust shit that you missed. Yep. Now let it build up a little bit. Mark, it doesn't Yeah, using that little air compressor over there, y'all. Yep. He needs some more pressure in that thing. And that ain't primer, y'all. That's sandblasting. Everybody see that, be like, man, this primer? No, that's with raw metal. Damn, I should have took the motor mounts out. It'll be all right. Ain't nobody gonna be able to see up under there. You know how we told it. Yeah, with a spray can. <laughs> they make some funny looking ass motor mount. They really do. The Pontiac motor mount. Probably need to take them off and keep them. Somebody somewhere probably looking for them and can't find them. Come on, air compressor. I don't know, y'all. I, I got the, the uh, LT L86. Them motors are expensive, y'all. I don't know. To get it all the way right how you want it. And I already got to do quarters on here, paint and body, the interior or top, it's drums on the front. So I need uppers and lowers in the front. I need disc brakes in the front, in the back, shit. And we ain't even talked about no motor trends and whatever the hell else going on. Now that I look at it, shit, I'll fuck around and be 10,000 just on the motor. I've done it many a time. <laughs> shit. On, might even be more. Motor. Yeah, might even be 15. I know the white car was damn near good. I'm going to go drop that on my arm. Shit. <laughs> and I ain't even trying to go that fast, y'all. <laughs> They need to go buy another gun, hell.
Whoop, they're gone, Claw. Take it, be difficulties. I'll turn you back on once we figure that out. All right, y'all. Had to go buy a new gun. Yeah, that, that gun was fucked up. That bitch blowing, too. Yeah. That bitch blowing hard.
Hit up under that canopy. My head cramping up. <laughs> yeah, especially study pulling the trigger. That thing icing up quick, y'all. Let me get back to the other side.
come up under. That thing sit and dry, undisturbed. Sleep, gotta be up four o'clock in the morning. It's like nine o'clock. Well, don't respect that type of shit, y'all. Let us rock because you ain't trying to spend that bread. Y'all heard them real quick. Up. Your ass getting the spray can. <laughs> well, the red truck came out so nice. Yeah, the, the red Same truck treatment. definitely got a paint gun. It wasn't no spray cans. That paint gun definitely come out different than that spray can. We can do high quality shit too, you know, we gotta pay for it. Mm-hmm. Pacho Sancho under the hood. Got a little icy, baby. Got a little icy. Why, YouTube chip? <laughs> 